Hey there y'all, finally got the pressurized system working. I've got a Smith regulator, got it for about 90 bucks or so off eBay. Um, nice uh, 20 ounce CO2 or paintball canister, got two of them from a member off planettank.net. Some nice airline tubing coming up. I've got the bubble, ch uh, bubble count right here, just uh, trying to fine tune it. Wow, can't focus that, sorry. Anyway, that runs into the tank and got one of these AGA style, I believe, uh, diffusers, glass diffusers on the end. And it, it seems to be working well. I'm still trying to fine tune it. But uh, it works. I've got CO2 going from the tank, or yeah, from the uh, paintball tank into the tank and not blowing up at all. So I was happy about that. I had to do a little uh, work to get the pieces to come in. Regulators have a 3 8 um, diameter, I believe it's diameter, um, connection. I had to bring that down to a 1 8 for my needle valve and I ended up having to use two different pieces to get it to work but it uh, wasn't too bad. Uh, when setting up the pressurized system you always want to use the Teflon tape to, uh, on any seal. It'll help make sure that it's a completely airtight seal. Uh, prevent any leaks and yeah so everything's looking pretty good I'm gonna move this down so that I uh, it's not taking up my desk and not hanging around like this this is just to get it uh, tuned in and going at the right rate but this should really help everything come in so much better uh, the MQ will definitely appreciate the CO2 the Anubias will probably like it. I mean, they were growing great before. Um, they'll grow even better now. And the Red Tiger Lotus will definitely love it. I even had uh, this Peacock Moss Perling on my DIY CO2 before. So hopefully that'll get everything going again. The Cherry Shrimp. I'm watching them. I'm expecting some shrimplets soon. Uh, there is one up actually... It's been hanging around in, in that uh, platform, that ledge. Can't really see with all the glare. But uh, where that filter intake comes in, this little ledge there. Um, one of the larger female uh, RCS were, have been hanging out up there. It's been, been watching her to see if I can see any uh, shrimplets coming down, which would be completely awesome. I'm trying to look into how they actually. Um, how their whole system works, uh, how their be how they behave, I guess, in captivity. Of course, you rarely wouldn't find these guys in the wild. You'd find the Neocardrina. I can't really. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, there's a nice cherry right there. It's beautiful red. And so yeah, that's the wrap. The Scarlet Bad East is right back there in the center. Been a little shy today. Um, storm's finally coming in. It's been thundering all afternoon, but now it's actually started raining. Love storms. So, yep, that's that's what's going on right now. Pressure system's working well. Finally got it up and running. And uh, we can't wait to get this tank turned around, whipped back into shape. Thanks, guys.